Hello, everybody. This is Takedown Wrestling. I am Tony Hager, and uh, we're here joined by Angel Escobedo, who is in uh, Istanbul right now. Um, yeah. So that's pretty great. Uh, we're in Iowa. You're clear <laughs> clear overseas, and uh, it's amazing how uh, technology works and can control, uh, put the uh, wrestling world together. So you've got uh, – tell us what's going on over there. Yeah, we have uh, – it's called a Yazer Dagu International Tournament. Um we have about 24 wrestlers from the U.S. competing here. Uh, I, I weigh in tomorrow on Friday, and then I wrestle on Saturday. And then the other guys, uh, other wrestlers uh, weigh in on Saturday, wrestle on Sunday. Do you have any other Cyclones there with you? No, I'm the only Cyclone. I Well, you know what, John Reeder's on his trip, but, I mean, he, you know, he's coaching that. Um, he's not considered a Cyclone but, Wrestling Club anymore. I mean, Right, right. But I'm the only guy from Cyclone Wrestling Club right now, though. All right. So um, right now you're ranked uh, number nine in the U.S., and uh, you're going to get an opportunity to wrestle Matt McDonough, another uh, wrestler that's highly ranked in the U.S. He's ranked number four in the most recent rankings. So, um, you know, this is a great opportunity for you just to showcase your talent and, and go after that, that ranking as you guys now have – burst it onto the international scene. How awesome an opportunity is this to, to get a phone call to compete at this? Um, I think it's great for wrestling. You know, um, we wrestled in college one time and, uh, a lot of people ask, you know, how that outcome went and, um, you know, a lot of people want to see us wrestle again. So I think it's a good opportunity for us to wrestle again and, uh, be on a big stage like this. And also, you know, after college, a lot of guys, want, a lot of fans want to see us wrestle. You know, they they don't get the opportunity to see us over in overseas because, you know, like I said, the time difference um, is kind of hard for them to watch in the middle of the night. So I think this would be big. Um, this is a good event. It's a big stage, and I'm excited. I mean, you you defeated him at uh, Big Ten Finals. You handed him his first loss, and you didn't get a shot to wrestle him um, at NCAA's. How hungry are you to, to get a, that sh opportunity? I mean, forget the fans. They want to see the match, but yourself want to get that opportunity to, to go against them again. Yeah, I mean, um, you know, that. I think for me personally, I have to beat everyone at my weight. So this is another guy that I have to beat. And, um, you know, for me to continue at my dreams of being a world Olympic champ, um, you know, it's one guy at a time. And, you know, this is another stepping stone. So it's going to be exciting for me, you know, to see to see me continually get better and uh, another challenge ahead of me. And you are a, a two-time world team member and continuing that uh, that goal of becoming, a, you know, Olympic gold medalist at the Cycle and Wrestling Club. How has your transition been to when you got in, got into Ames? Uh, it's been great, you know, Kevin Jackson and then the Paulson brothers, they've treated me with, you know, utmost respect and um, have really given me a lot as far as training and uh, anything else that I need. And I think that's been a great addition to my training this year, um, being a, a lot more focused, individualized, uh, doing one on one sessions and uh, things like that. So I'm really excited to be in Ames and wrestling for a Cyclone Wrestling Club. The Jackson get a whole a lot of time with you hands on. In the cycling yeah, wrestling I'm, club, yeah, um, we do individuals. So he'll put me through individuals twice a week, um, and that consists of you know whatever areas that I'm working on, and uh, anywhere from like an hour to two hours. Um, so it's just you know it's really hands on one on one kind of training. And you get an opportunity to wrestle with some of the cyclones who brought home a, a national champ this year awesome experience i'm assuming for you guys you guys took a tour bus there how awesome yeah. was it to, to, to drive back to ames with a, a national champ eating ice cream all over the place i mean was it <laughs> sticky on the floor after that yeah you know what i didn't get to eat ice cream because i had to turn around and lead the turkey so <laughs> i just i watched them you know i watched them eat but no it's cool um you know i i did that in college, I accomplished that dream in college, so I know the high feeling of it. So he was kind of just kind of see someone else doing it. It's um, it's great to see, and and it's a great feeling, you know, just driving back with the national champ. Having the opportunity to be a four time All American, now being on a coaching staff and, and pursuing your own dreams. Talk about coaching a little bit. 
how has that transition been from being a competitor to now uh, trying to coach kids that you know you're you're real close in age with? Right. Um. You know what? It's it's been different. It was a kind of a challenge at first because I felt like some of the guys um, kind of treated me as if I was like their teammate because I am so young. Um, but then throughout the season, they started to uh, gain respect and realize, you know, I am a coach and I'm not just, I'm not a college kid. Even though I may look young, I'm not a college kid, you know? So um, it's been a cool transition, cool experience. And I really like it. I didn't know how, how I would like it in the beginning because, you know, like I'm training full time. So I was like kind of wary about it, but it was a good experience this year, and I really like it, and I'm going to continue to do it even after I retire. And I know there's some great facilities up there. Did that play into a uh, have a big factor in you going to Ames? Uh, you know, the biggest factor is uh, my wife. Um, she's getting her master's in Ames, and uh, we were doing long distance, and that just – that couldn't cut it, you know. Um, well, that I worked, out, that worked keep... out pretty darn good for Iowa State, I'd have to say. Yeah, it did. It did. And, uh, you know, obviously I've always kept a good relationship with Kevin Jackson and the Paulsons. And, you know, I've always wanted to come out there, just never lined up. And it just lined up so well that my wife was there. She's in grad school. And then, you know, Troy Nickerson left and then there was opportunity to me, for me to come in. So it all worked out well. Now, let's, switching gears to Aegon as you come back from Istanbul, when do you get back? And when do you travel to Iowa City? Uh, I get back, um, I think, Monday night, maybe midnight, somewhere around there. And then I'll travel probably Thursday, I'm guessing. Um, yeah, probably because we have to weigh in on Thursday. So I'll be getting there around like Thursday afternoon and then Russell Friday. What weight class will you guys be uh, going up as here at Agon? 135, which is nice. Um that's a good break. You know, this tournament that I'm wrestling has 130. So, you know, five pound allowance can't beat that. How has your been your training for this? What's really nice is you don't really have to change from wrestling uh, freestyle to this event because it's it's a freestyle event. And that, that's what I'm gathering from some other competitors that they're really happy that there's no, you know, different rules. You get to just train the way you've always been training. But, you know, an opponent like Matt McDonough who has – you know, a three-time finalist, two-time champ. How have you been preparing for, for him and what he has to offer? Um, You know, just watching film and, um, you know, sticking to my game plan too. Like you said, it's a freestyle match. Um, so I'm going to do what I do best as far as freestyle, um, not s switch up the training. I think in the other, um, kind of the other leagues, it's, uh, you know, there's a mixture of styles. So, you know, a mixture of freestyle and folk style. So you kind of have to adjust in that sense. But since it's a freestyle match, um, I'm just going to do what I normally do and uh, just try to, um, you know, compete to my best ability. And when this Matt, how did this match come up about? I mean, I, I know that uh, Matt kind of tweeted out and he said he kind of jokingly yeah. said Escobedo and it kind of just kind of fell into place were you aware that he tweeted that out or were you just kind of contacted by frank this kind of the match the match coordinator for Aegon? yeah no i i had um i didn't know he tweeted it out but then someone tagged me and was like would you do it and i was like for sure i mean you know i'll wrestle anyone i'm i don't care you know i'll, I'll wrestle whoever whoever wants to wrestle so um they're like all right let's make it happen and then that's when they contacted me and said, are you willing to wrestle? And I said, of course. And with your experience, college, and kind of growing, uh, going through this whole, the Iowa, Iowa against the world is the, the title of this thing. Do you feel like that is, uh, you know, there's a lot of people that are rooting against the Hawkeyes. And are you happy to play that role to be that guy to kind of take a Hawkeye off, off, a, off a pedestal? I mean, I think that's a great opportunity. You know, I, I really wish it was in uh, Carver. You know, that would be that would be sweet. Um, anywhere that you go into someone's home, you know, the home turf, and they're rooting against you, that's a good time to put on a show. And uh, that's what I'm looking forward to is, you know, hopefully there's a – it's packed of Hawkeye fans, you know, wanting him to win. And, uh, you know, I'm just going to come out there looking to shine. 
we're hoping that there's a lot of just uh, general fans there just che- cheering on a lot of you uh, USA members because there's a lot of yeah. them on here that are fighting for a world team spot. And, for sure. you know, you got to kind of put, uh, I think as a, as a casual fan, you're thinking this is a hot guy versus the world. But in the, the day, these are, these are a bunch of guys fighting for a world team spot and, you know, training for those trials that are coming up and, and getting a feel for everybody. And we kind of can gauge that by this Aegon event that is going to be uh, a, a great spect- spectacle for fans. And as the ESPN, numbers continue to grow and these pro leagues continue to grow. Do you feel like wrestling is going in the right direction? I do. I do think it's going in the right direction. Um, you know, with MMA growing, I think wrestling is always going to grow with it. I don't think we have to um, compete against it. I think we grow with it. And, you know, it's a great foundation for wrestlers um, who want to later transition in MMA. But I think wrestling is, you know, it's great growing as a sport people want to watch it and people want to see it and that's why all these leagues are building is because you know the fans do want to see senior level athletes compete in the united states you know they don't want to keep having them go out overseas and compete they want to see them compete in american soil so i think that's the biggest thing trying to stay up at three o'clock four o'clock in the morning on a stream that doesn't really work and there's kazoos in the background i mean i'm happy for it to be in iowa that's for sure on u.s soil yes yeah, so is my wife, you know, she's freaking, uh, for the turkey one, she's like looking through, like, she, I don't know how to speak, you know, their language, I can't see it, she has put it through Google Translate and stuff, the one in Iowa is going to be a lot easier, you know, for her, so. And I'm I'm also curious, as being a world team member, we kind of touched base on MMA, and that's kind of been the only avenue for wrestlers to make money, because not everyone's going to be an Olympian, and, you know, so they turn to MMA, and I won't name any names that took that route, but do you guys, when you guys are at this these world team practices or uh, get-togethers, is that kind of a topic that comes up? Hey, man, man, maybe I should just go to MMA, or what do you guys think of me You know, going out and trying to fight? Yeah, you know what? It doesn't really come up that often. I think uh, the guys that are at the training camp are pretty dedicated into – uh, accomplishing that that goal of becoming a world Olympic champ that they don't see MMA. You know, when you see when you see yourself in MMA, then you're not given 100 percent in the sport. And so I think you know when we're sitting around, we're just concentrating on you know how can we get better as a country, as as you know wrestlers to achieve that because we want America to be the best. So we really don't talk about MMA that much. And I think that's a great. Great thing that I'm going to take from this because I think as a public perception is, is, you know, if you're not an Olympian, well, I'm just going to go to MMA. But wrestlers are so dedicated and they're, you know, I would say stubborn that they just going to, going to continue and try to get on that world team and uh, go for that Olympic gold. I mean, if it was every year, you know, there maybe we see more wrestlers going going at it because every four years, I mean, that's tough. I mean, you're dedicating four years of your life to a sport. You know, there's the world, uh, you know, there's cups and all this stuff that's going on. But, I mean, at the end of the day, the Olympics are, are what's, uh, what it's all about. So I, right. I'm, I'm excited that Aegon is coming out and putting on this type of event. There's already talks of other events going to be uh, put on. And, uh, you know, wrestling fans, you can get your, your look at this on pay-per-view even better if you can be at the event and cheer on you know, cheer on the, the people that represent your country. You know, Angel said it best, you know, we get an opportunity to, to showcase our country. And, um, as a wrestling community, we need to get back to supporting that and not seeing this event as being, you know, publicized media as Iowa against the world, but it's much more than that when you look deeper into things. So, um, get on Aegon WC, get your tickets through Ticketmaster, or you can get on pay-per-view Angel, I know you're going to have some some fans across the across the nation watching in, and uh, you know, on behalf of Takedown, we wish you the best of luck next Friday, and we wish you, you know, this this weekend, wish you good luck uh, doing weigh-ins. Who would you like to thank? Uh, you know, sponsors, Cyclone Wrestling Club, all those kind of guys, and where can find yeah. people find you on uh, social media? Right, I like to thank uh, you know Cyclone Wrestling Club, Cradle Gear, New York Athletic Club. Uh, for sponsoring me. You can follow me on, at uh, Driven to Dominate on Twitter, um, you know, and Instagram. 
uh, just try to keep up, uh, try to update, you know, what I'm going through throughout this training aspect and, um, you know, all my competition. So I uh, look forward to seeing all these people out there at Agon, and it's going to be a great event. Driven to dominate. I feel like that should be a website or a, <laughs> a, a little kid's wrestling club or something. That's, I don't even know how you even got that Twitter handle. Do you have a nickname? You know, cause, cause Scott Casper is going to be making the, making the call out here and introducing you guys. I mean, what, what kind of nickname you want me to put down on your car? You know, you know what I tell people like with the name, like Angel, you really don't need a nickname, you know, cause it's so <laughs> rare anyway. So it's like, I really don't need one. You know? I Are you going to come Angel- out? Are you going to come out in a costume with angels and a white hoodie? With angel wings? Yeah, yeah, something like that. <laughs> Sounds good, man. Well, on behalf of Takedown, again, we want to uh, wish you best of luck out there overseas representing uh, the Cyclones USA. And then next Friday, as you take on Matt McDonough, who you beat at Big Tens and didn't get a chance to wrestle him at uh, NCAA. So, again, thank you again for being on uh, on the call. All right, thanks. Thanks for having me.